What's going on guys? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we're taking a look at the Halloween Ultimate Mike Myers figure from NECA and we're going to jump right into this starting with the packaging. I'm a big fan of NECA packaging because it always looks really good, it's small and it's collector friendly and there's always really cool artwork on there that comes straight from the movie that the figure is based on so I always think that looks nice and in this case we have a nice shot of Michael Myers right there in the front and I believe this is the same artwork or the same image that was used for like the promotional posters for this movie movie so I've always thought that was really cool and then at the bottom there's really simple text just saying Halloween Ultimate Michael, Michael Myers and then there's a sticker informing you that there's a light up jack-o-lantern that comes with this figure and the front of the box is able to open up so that you could see the figure it's just held together with a piece of velcro so that's really nice once you open this up you're able to see the figure with all the different accessories that he comes with and then on the opposite side of him you have a really nice shot of the figure itself and then on the side of the box you get another shot of Michael Myers and it's the same on both sides on the back you have some really awesome looking photos photos of the figure itself and NECA always does a really good job of taking pictures of their own figures so I really think that all this is really cool it shows off a bunch of the accessories and stuff but it all looks really cool and natural it's just the figure using the various accessories so I think that is really really nice and last but not least probably my favorite part of the packaging on the bottom side it gives credit to everybody that was involved in creating this figure and I think that's awesome I really wish that every company would do stuff like that because I know a lot of these people take a lot of pride in these action figures that they give us so I'm happy that everybody got the credit here it's really good stuff so yeah I'm a big fan of NECA packaging it always looks cool it's collector friendly and it doesn't take up too much space but let's take a look at Michael Myers okay so now here's Michael Myers out of the box and the thing that jumped out to me right away about this figure is how nice and detailed the sculpt and the paintwork is NECA did a really good job with that and they always do so it's no surprise but I definitely like what they did here with Michael Myers so let's get into it here the face sculpt looks really good this is based on Michael Myers from the 2018 Halloween movie so the mask is gonna look weathered and messed up and just old and they captured that perfectly you could see a lot of nice details in there it looks really good and you could even see his eye inside of the mask it's kind of hard to see you got to catch the light at the right angle but the eyeballs are definitely in there and it all looks really good I love the, the weathering on this mask it looks all crazy and grimy so that is really really nice and even the neck has some like nice details it's not just like you know flesh toned plastic it looks like they put some work into there too you've got a blue shirt under the jumpsuit that looks good you've got some blood right here and the jumpsuit isn't just like a solid blue color. There's some nice uh, paint details in there. It's like a grayish kind of brown color to make it look kind of dirty. And I like that a lot. And the way that NECA does their figures is they usually have like a plastic overlay over the torso. So it kind of, you know, you lose the articulation because of it. Some of it's kind of there and we'll get into that later. But it does look nice. It makes the figure look, uh, you know, it's not broken up by joints or anything. So that is cool. It even covers the hip joints a little bit. But then you have to kind of worry about it warping. And it, it does. Right out of the packaging, this was kind of sunken in. But once I got the hip under there, it was fine. So that's kind of one thing that's just like a... You know a trait of NECA figures they always do this kind of thing with torsos and I'm okay with it you know I really don't need Michael Myers to be able to crunch forward as much as he would without this thing but anyways let's keep looking at it here look at the hands are all bloody and crazy and that looks really nice same thing on this side and same thing with all the interchangeable hands that we'll look at in a second hands look all scarred and nasty that's awesome and then you have some more details down here that all looks good all the sculpted details on the jumpsuit are really really nice and at first it kind of threw me off because I feel like this figure looked a little like thick for Michael Myers but if you figure he's an older guy at this point he's probably like 60 years old but he's still probably a strong dude so this body type kind of makes sense at first it just kind of threw me off but then I, I kind of accepted that it was a, an older man in there so it just made sense to me after that and then on the back you have some more sculpted details you have the pockets sculpted some really nice sculpt work on this guy. Obviously, the Michael Myers costume or whatever you want to call it is very simple. So, it's not really too much that they could do on here. But everything they did does look nice. This almost, I almost thought this was like a real pocket. But it's not. But it is like a, like a flap. It's not just like sculpted all together. So, that's cool. That adds some like a realistic effect to the, the pocket there. And, uh, you know, obviously the highlight of this figure is the head. So, I think they did a really nice job with it. It looks really creepy and crazy. The hair looks nice. Everything about the head looks really good. And just in general, the whole figure looks nice to me. So I am happy with what they did here. And for the accessories, NECA really packed in a lot of cool things with this figure, including multiple sets of hands. So first off, we have an open set of hands. And then for his left side, he has an even more open hand. 
And then also on his left side, he has a hand which has the two fingers that were shot off. And then he comes with a set of gripping hands. And these could be used to hold on to his hammer and to his knife. And then he also comes with this fire poker. And then he comes with the Judith Myers tombstone. And then of course he has the light up jack-o'-lantern. And then last but not least he has this really nasty gruesome uh, tore up empty hollowed head. So much like the figure itself all of the accessories are done with extreme detail. So let's take a closer look at them starting off with the tombstone here. It looks very nice. It is just a thin piece of plastic but it does look good and I think it looks enough like a real tombstone. So that is nice. And then you have the jack-o'-lantern here. And the jack-o'-lantern is sculpted really good too. The only thing I don't like about this jack-o'-lantern is you could kind of see the electronics inside there because it does light up. And that is really cool. It kind of flickers. As you can see, that that is very nice. But I just don't really like how you could see all the stuff on the inside when it's not turned on. But, you know, it's not a huge deal. It still looks amazing when it is turned on. So uh, I, I do like this jack-o'-lantern a lot. And it's really cool because all you have to do is click that right there and it turns on and off. And then you could, it has an interchangeable battery back there. So very, very cool. I like this a lot. And the weapons are done with great detail as well. As you can see, the hammer has some blood all over the head. And even the handle itself looks really good. It's all sculpted very nice. So this hammer is really cool. And then the knife, butcher knife, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, does have like a metallic type of finish to it. And I think that is very well done. The fire poker is okay but it's really thin plastic and it's hard to get him to hold it look at that it's really really thin so that's kinda I wish uh, it was a little easier to deal with this you can't really slip this into his hands you kinda you have to kinda work it around it's very difficult but I was able to kinda like get it into his thumb here luckily the hands aren't crazy hard plastic but yeah see it's it's kinda difficult to get this thing on there So there you go. It's it's not the easiest thing to accomplish, but it's possible. So it, it does look nice, but I wish it was a little bit easier to handle. You have this mutilated head, and this thing is crazy. Look at the nasty detail on there. You got like some of the mouth ripped off, the nose is torn off, and it's hollow. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, look at that. It's like hollow on the inside. There's a little tongue piece left over. And yeah, that's really gruesome. So that's a really cool accessory. Looks very nasty and is very well detailed and painted. You can see like the red and all the different kind of colors and things going on. So that is really awesome. And he does come with two different head sculpts. This is the head that was on him inside of the packaging. And then this is the alternate head sculpt. And as far as I could tell, the two head sculpts are very, very similar. Except for on the alternate one, the eyes are blacked out. You're not able to see his eyes like you can on the original head sculpt. And I'd say maybe the, the alternate one looks a little more beat up, but they're basically the same. Either way, both of them look really nice. A lot of times when I buy NECA figures, I'm always afraid of the quality control. There's been several times where I buy a figure, open it up, twist his leg around, and it just breaks. For the most part, there's no real big quality control issues with Michael Myers, but it should be noted that the wrist joints are kind of weak. When I was trying to interchange his hands, the, the ball joint just kind of broke in half. And it's not broken, actually. It just kind of split in half. It could be put back together and it's just fine. But it's just a little frustrating when you're trying to switch out the hands. So I'd suggest maybe heating up the hands before you start swapping them out. But yeah, you know, aside from that, no big quality control issues. And for some quick size comparisons, here he is next to the Black Series Boba Fett and the Marvel Select Hawkeye. And then next up, we have the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And then now here he is next to the Mezco 112 Collective Ronin Wolverine and the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie Raphael. And then last but not least we have the NECA Planet of the Apes Conquest Gorilla and NECA Dawn of Planet of the Apes Caesar. And here's a quick look at him next to the Mezco Michael Myers figure. And obviously these figures are different scales and they're based on different looks for the character. But I really think that they're both awesome in their own way. And I was going to do a little bit more comparing in this video of these two figures. But I really didn't want to take away too much attention from the NECA figure. Because I really don't feel like the quality of the NECA figure is based on how he compares to the Mezco figure. So I do want to do a comparison with these two guys. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, please be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do that pretty soon. 
So when it comes to articulation, I think that most people know that NECA doesn't necessarily excel in that department, but they have come a long way because back in the day, a lot of their figures were basically statues. And nowadays, a lot of their offerings have pretty decent articulation. It's never anything crazy like a Marvel Legends figure or like an import figure or anything like that. But for the most part, the figures have enough articulation for the characters that the figure is representing. So um, the same thing could be said for Michael Myers here. I think he pretty much has everything he needs. So let's get into it here. His head is able to move side to side. You have some tilt going on that works pretty good. You could kind of get his head, you know, moving around a pretty decent amount. You could get him to look up to about there, which is good. You could get him to look down to about there, which is pretty decent. And then for the torso, you could tell that there's some articulation in the torso, but it's obviously covered by this overlay. But if you feel around, you could definitely feel the cut in there. And you could kind of get it to crunch just a little bit, but it takes a lot of work. So... You know, not, not much going on with the torso, but you could, you know, like I said, the articulation is there, but it looks like they just kind of wanted to make sure that the sculpt was nice and smooth and not broken up. And for that, they kind of sacrificed that ab articulation. And I mean, I guess I'm okay with that. You know, I, I like I mentioned before, I don't really need him to be able to crunch all the way forward. It would have been nice to be able to get him to hunch over just a little bit. And maybe with a little bit of work, you could kind of get it, but it's going to be tough. As you can see, that's pretty much as much as far as I could get him to hunch. So, you know, it is what it is with the with the torso articulation. I'm not mad at it, but I, I it would have been nice to be able to get him to crunch over a little bit, but you know, I'm okay with it. And then for the arms, it just has the peg joint that sticks into the torso, so it can go all the way around. It could come out to the side. There is no upper bicep swivel, but you do get a swivel at the elbow. And the he also has double jointed elbows, which is really nice. Look at that, you could get him to bend a really decent amount. So that that's very cool, I'm happy with the elbows there. And you actually have swivel where the on the upper elbow part, I guess you could call it, and then at the forearm, so you know, that adds some, some options there. And then for the hands, you have some uh, swivel and a hinge, but you know, these joints are kinda weak, so it's a little difficult to mess with, you gotta spin it around to get it to, to do what you wanna do. But yeah, it's definitely there. And then for the legs, they're also kind of covered by this plastic overlay, but they work pretty good. So you could get him to pretty much do the splits. Check that out. That's pretty good. And let's see here. You could get it to go back to about there, but then you're kind of blocked by the plastic. And then when you bring it back, it kind of ends up on the out outer part of the plastic. So you want to be careful there. But you can kick his leg forward to pretty much all the way forward. That's awesome. So yeah, the the hip joint is pretty good. Then you have the upper thigh swivel. You have a single jointed knee that also has a swivel. And then for the feet, you have rocking ankles, which is nice. You could get them to go forward to about there, but then the pant leg kind of stops it. Same thing going forward. It could only go to about there. Then it's kind of stopped by the sculpt, but I do like the fact that it has rocking ankles, so he's not going to have any problems standing. So yeah, I'm okay with the articulation on this guy. It's not overly articulated, but I think that he has everything that he needs. So overall, I think that NECA did a really nice job on this figure. I'd say that the strong points are definitely the sculpt work and the paint details. I'm also a big fan of all the accessories that he comes with. He comes with a lot of interesting things. I definitely like that jack-o'-lantern, and I really like the hand that's missing the two fingers. I think that's really cool. And the only negative I really have with this figure is that really weak wrist joint. Other than that, there's no huge flaws that stand out with it. And aside from that, I'd say the articulation is definitely limited, and it leaves a lot to be desired. But if you're already a fan of NECA figures and you know what you're getting into it's kind of hard to be disappointed with it i really wasn't expecting to have a hyper articulated michael myers figure here um so I'm, I'm actually fine with the articulation it's just a little less than you might get on other michael myers figures out there but um yeah for the most part i think this figure is awesome i think that fans of halloween are going to go crazy over this guy and i'm interested to see if they do a classic looking ultimate michael myers because obviously this is based on the more recent movie so i'm sure fans of halloween would love to get like the original version of him that that is is this good you know so yeah i'm very happy with this guy and i'm sure that all the halloween fans out there will be too so i think that's it thank you so much for watching and huge shout out to toy news international for sending me this figure to review and i will be posting more pictures of michael myers and the toy news international forum so be sure to go check that out and i'll leave a link in the description below and i do have another review coming out right after this michael myers one i'll probably post it like a day after or something like that but just for fun let's try to guess what it is uh i'll give you one hint it's a mezco figure but it's not 
your traditional Mezco figure. So just for fun, try to guess what it is. I'm sure it's going to be pretty easy for you, especially if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already know. But anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And thank you very much. Peace.